All right, I want to take a minute to say what's up. Welcome back to more Final Fantasy 16. Sorry, I was... Hey, you know, you watch something funny, you try not to laugh, and it just like, hits you at the most random times. But anyways, uh, all likes greatly appreciated. If you want more of this game each day, just keep it up. And let's go ahead and jump back in. Here we go. Should be right where we left off. I can't imagine we're anywhere different, right? I want to do the dialogue. I left it in at the end of the last video because I didn't know when you respawn back in, will they do the same dialogue. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. All right. Here we go. It's, I thought this is about to be an incredible next hour or so of this game, and I'm here for it, so let's get this. We got the battle music going on already? This game is so good. Uh-oh. I see enemies. Here we go. It is time. I've been watching all the Kung Fu Panda movies lately, so I may be quoting it a little bit here and there. <laughs> there are no accidents. I love the turtle. Alright. Really, they were all pretty much damaged, I guess. There we go. 105 XP just for that? Can I do it again? Or as my daughter says, I do again. Was that an earthquake? They happen all the time. That wasn't even a bad one. It's nothing to worry about. Flat <laughs> damage. Let's get this. Couldn't even see. All right, we're chilling. All right, forty-five. Nice. Oh my God! Look at this enemy. Uh oh. You know what? Let's get it started. Here we go. Can't see. That did so much damage. Oh, my goodness. There we go, commit. Here we go. Big damage, big damage. I got hit like once or twice and I felt like half of my bar was gone. Let me just play it safely, hold on. I love how when you do that. Oh my goodness! A thunderstorm. Look how high you go. All right. I love the spinning animation whenever it happens. I haven't played in about 24 hours, so maybe it's a tad rusty. I always have to like relearn the controls because I play a lot of games when I'm just like chilling. So I'm always playing something else. <laughs> Spin. There we go. The old arboretum is just up. We'll enter the caves from there. You know what I hope they do one day is bring forward. I wouldn't mind playing nine again. Final Fantasy Nine I thought was really good, but I don't remember a lot of it because I remember playing it. I want to say once or twice when it first launched, but I have not touched it since. I thought 12 was also really good, but I don't think I ever finished 12. Okay, we got... A 
Uh oh, here we go. You already know it's about to go down. Here we go. Look at this place. What a mess. Wait. Breath, all right. I like fighting larger enemies in this game because it seems like you can. This is a lot of damage, I feel like. Or at least. Oh, watch out! I'm just gonna just keep swinging. Hold on. There we go, halfway. I just realized I'm pretty low on... Uh-oh, hold on. Pretty low on potions right now. Uh-oh. Hold on. Too far away. Acid rain, all right. Wild rage, oh no. I still can't believe they can jump. Here we go. Big damage, big damage. I don't have a lot of health, so I need to. I have two potions left, but. Go ahead and pop the last high potion I have. This will top me off. Okay, nice. I'm kind of spamming abilities right now. up right here. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just going to chill for a second. Oh, God. Oh, watch out. Hold on. What kind of range do I have on Thunderstorm? It's got to be pretty long, right? Is it? Oh, it does. Nice. That's a lot of damage. Okay. What? That still hit me? I dodged way too early. I think, okay, one more, like, stun break or whatever it's called. It should be fine. A little parry, which was completely intentional. <laughs> Staggered, alright, here we go. I forgot what it was called for a minute. Trying to finish this here, hold on. There we go. Big damage. I feel like that enemy has been in every Final Fantasy. You know what I mean? Like, it's been almost in every single one I can remember, at least. Press on? Yes. the volcano. You get used to the heat. 
though I don't remember it being quite this hot. Surprise, none of these are potions yet. Hold on. Was that one cause for concern? There we go. It was. And they're getting bigger. Something's wrong. <laughs> I think I like about this game is you get the limit rings back very frequently. Like, it's not like it's stingy, you know? Or it doesn't take way too long. I always hate when games will have a cool thing that you can have access to, but it's such a rare occasion, you know? More potions I will take. I forgot this also hills, but I think it's only slightly transparent bar that I don't even have one right now, so it's all good. Level up off that. I'll take it. Level 26. Let's go. No diminishing returns yet. All right. Seems like everything is pretty consistent. A lot of three increases. Okay. So, like, literally... Okay, we got... Attack all the way to the bottom is three, three, three. Yeah, everything's three. Unless I missed something. Uh oh. Okay, Salamander, hold on. I'm over here just trying to just like get an ability off. <laughs> One thing I do like about that little attack I just did was it pile drive. It's very fast. Okay. This might actually do enough damage. To just... Assuming we're good. I'm just swinging for the fences right now. Hold on. Nice try. Is it enough? There we go. It's a pretty tanky enemy. All right. get a lot of crafting materials in this game like more than I expected fuck is there no other way across She doesn't really use those abilities in a while. They don't look too tough. Uh oh, here we go. Perhaps not alone, but in numbers like these. I forgot bombs are so tanky in this game. All right. Oh, 
we got. Self-destruct. There it is. Yo, what is this? All right, please be a high potion. It would just be insanely nice. Okay, a regular one. You know what? I'm not going to complain. I might a little bit, though. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how tough this next section is. Let's look for another path. It's got to be back over here. Yeah, here we go. Drake's breath. We're nearly at the oratory. Yes, let's go. You know what this area reminds me of? Resident Evil 5 at the very end when Chris punches that boulder. <laughs> it's like a lava area, I think. What the hell is that? I have absolutely no idea. Well, whatever it is, I don't think it's friendly. I would cast the uh, biggest fire spell. Now I got the stagger. Okay. That ability is really good for a lot of enemies. Oh god. Okay. I don't know why, every time I use that ability I think about Anthem for some reason. Get a little bit of HP back here maybe. Or just take damage, that's fine too. And this should be enough. There we go. Yo, what did I just pick up? Hold on, what was that? No, it was a ring, wasn't it? This will be on this side. Yep, there it is. What? 64 and 20? That is such a major increase. Oh my goodness. At least for the defense. I will definitely be using that. I'm hoping we'll find more stuff like that. All right. Gear and icons looking good. I've heard the max level of this game is 100, but I, I don't know. We're only level 26 and we're like halfway done. Uh-oh. Boss time, maybe. What the? One of the demons. But they never leave the lava. If I didn't know better. Flame lizards. Then this one must be the exception. Alright, tornado time. Or aerial blast as it called. Dodges that I have to do right there. There we go. Woo, okay. So all my abilities are on cooldown. <laughs> Can't dodge that red. Yo, 
Yo, I'm getting absolutely cooked right now. What's it doing? Overdrive. I'm just gonna back up. What? I'm just gonna commit here. Hold on. Please stay still for just a second. We'll see how this goes. That's a lot of stagger damage right there. I hope we can get through this fight without having to reset and get potions and everything. We should be fine, but I will tell. I thought I dodged at the right time. Still hit me. There we go. Woo! I was a little bit nervous there at the end. All right, flame lizard slain. All right, here we go. 220. We had to have gotten at least an item, right? There we go. I bet we use this for something special. Hope the guards didn't hear it. The gate to the inner chambers is just up there. Then we make for the sanctuary. I need to finish this before the heat finishes me. You're here. All right, good fight so far. Handmaidens' living quarters. It was always a hive of activity. Sounds like we'll have a hard time staying out of sight. We won't have to. There's someone there I should very much like to see. Not as it's been one of my favorite games to actually record. It's just like... Overall, I think I would be playing this even if I didn't have a YouTube channel. And I would just be sitting back watching cutscenes over and over. <laughs> Here we go. Lady Marley, it's me, by some mother. Jill, it can't be. It is, my lady. We cannot talk here. Come with me. I'm so glad you're safe. And I you. Why ever would you risk coming back? 
Are you a fool, girl? Or have you grown tired of your freedom already? Forgive me, my lady. But I had to come back. There are things I left undone. Tell me, where is the Patriarch? At this hour, he'll be in the Comric, giving thanks. You mean... Oh, fiend! Clive, we have to get to the Sanctuary. Now! Lady Marley, you must flee this place, gather your things and go. Now listen here, Jill. In Alak, no! We have company. <gasps> Follow this passage. It leads straight to the Comric. Go on, stop dawdling. Thank you. You were always so kind to me. My light in the darkness. Take care, my lady, please. You deserve better than this. A long and happy life, promise me. to do the same. All right, we got a secret passage. Let's Come get on, this. Guys. We're nearly at the Comrec. All right. Please be high potion. There it is. Let's go, baby. Uh -oh. Welcoming party. I've had enough of their hospitality. That is very quick. All right. Maybe not so bad after all. Here we go. It's kind of like a combo. I feel like they're floating in air and then they just they just get captured essentially. I'm actually curious, I think I asked this like one of the previous videos about what do you think's next for Final Fantasy? Do you think they'll remake like 8 or 9? Or just go straight to Final Fantasy 17 at that point? I don't know. Pretty big time gap between 15's release and 16's release. Although we did have like the 7 remake and then we had the interlude thing with it as well. Or whatever it was called, like Intergrade or whatever. <laughs> All of these remaster redux, every time it's a brand new console, there's all these like, uh, hey, we brought this game forward or it's re remastered, you know, or they got a remake or a redux. They always got a different name for it. My favorite thing is when I see game of the year additions for a lot of stuff. Like, can every game win game of the year? I mean, because it feels that way. <laughs> it's like, does every game have that? There we go. All right, potions. Let's get it. Uh oh. Oh my god. Too many. You know what? Have this tornado, sir. I'm gonna chill back here. Big damage, big damage. You can hear like the metal sounds or whatever. It's funny. 
20k damage. I'll take it. That hurt. Oh, nice! Uh-oh. Oh, wait, I'm out. Get a little bit of HP back really quick. Reminds me of God of War when you pop, like, the rage thing or whatever. You get health on hit and everything. Kind of the same premise. And it's the same button command, I think. Listen to that soundtrack, though. All right, we can go. I guess we we're not going that way. Okay, down the steps it is. It's funny how like a lot of games now will have a level requirement per mission type thing, and they're not like an RPG type game anyways. But this game doesn't, and it is an RPG. <laughs> it's funny how that works. I'm just gonna hang back over here and chill. Did I just miss that? Thanks, you got him. Nice. With this type of soundtrack, it only feels like something big is about to go down. Like, any second, you know? Was this only here for the chest? I guess it was. Please be a high potion. Clive. There's something I need you to know. I saw the Patriarch do things no one should have to see. And so I swore that he would die by my hand. I understand. I face my demons. Then you must face yours. So we're maxed out on potions now. I wonder what this is. I gotta admit, I'm kind of happy they ditched the MP stuff in this game. Like, you got the HP, obviously. But magic's just, like, infinite, you know? Alright, the inner sanctum. Oh my now. goodness. Just How y'all doing? Gather rounds. Here we go. Did I just get all of them? Alright, two dodges and might be enough here. This is gonna make the screen look crazy, but here we go. That mostly does I guess stagger damage. So it's maybe not useful there, but it's doing some kind of damage at least, so that's why I like to use it there. New enemies approaching, nice. Yeah, I was gonna use my limit break, but I was I'm about waiting for just a second. There we go. Big damage. Alright, that's done. Anybody else? Exactly 77 XP. Oh wait! Ooh, almost missed this. What is that? The grace of Inferno. Huh? Let me see what we got. Duration by five seconds. See, I still like the flames of rebirth. I thought about now, this, having the cooldown reduce would be kind of nice. Hmm. What is more efficient there? Having So I like having the healing potency. 20% is a pretty high amount. 
Attack by seven? I don't know. The cooldown on the other thing would be nice, but I don't really feel like I... You get so many other options, you know? I think I'm good right now. Uh oh, this just looks like it's about to be a long fight. Here we go. Shiva's dominant. Come to beg forgiveness for your failure. For years I followed your orders. Fought your wars. All to protect the children you took. Just as you took me. And what did you do in return? souls were sullied with a stain of ether. I merely cleansed them of their corruption. A penance paid, just as the Holy Mother wills it! Repent, abomination! For a monster like you to set foot in the Holy Cymric is in itself a crime deserving of death. You're right. I am a monster, and my soul is stained black, though not by either, but by the evil of men like you, who made me close my heart and drown in darkness when I should have raged against it. This is my penance. I will be your monster no more, nor will I suffer you to create another. <laughs> Does the beast bear its teeth at its master? Come then, dominant. Rage, be as you have ever been. A monster! And what are you, Imran? I was forced to kill. You do it by choice. But never again. I bowed to you once. Now it is you who shall bow to me! Kill them. <laughs> <laughs>
do it! This is so sick. All right, here we go. All right, so far so good. Liquid flame. I guess it doesn't help that, I guess, his main thing is Ifrit, and then everything we seem to fight is fire. <laughs> it's like it's not a good combo. But here we go. Big damage. Uh-oh. Let's get it. I can't see anything. But it's all good. Good, uh, uh oh. in combat helping us now, but she's also she's transformed and she's helping us from above, which I like even better. It's kind of cool. I think it's cool though. I think the two main summons you get from Seven and a lot of other games has always been Shiva and Ifrit, you know? And it's like the fact that they're both kind of together in this game is pretty cool. Really cool. Yo, I didn't think you could just stay in there like this. That's actually crazy. All right. Uh oh. Oh, come on. Nice try. All right, here we go. Aerial blast. Essentially, tornado at this point. I couldn't even see. I was just like, all right. Enemy somewhere in there. Eleventh hour. Oh no! What in the world is this? Wait a minute. Too slow. Too slow. Uh, what's going on? This is gonna hurt. Big damage. I didn't realize the actual thing hits. Oh no, I popped that way to. That's such a bad spot to put it. Let's <laughs> try. Flagrant wyvern. Uh oh. What is all this? Each 
little twirl of that actually does damage. I want to pop the Winter Break, but I don't know when the best time is, so whatever. Here we go. I'm just like trading blows right now. Hold on. You gotta be kidding. There we go. Woo! Is it enough? No. How is that not enough? There we go. 320 to end it. Flame extinguished. How much XP? 600. Oh my goodness. And we got this. Okay. I'm going to finish this, Clive. to it oh we destroyed it what what a monster monster do you have any idea what you have done I do father I have killed the monster and become an outlaw. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. It's over. It is. And Shiva exacted her price. She did. Again, the burden fell to you. And I bore it willingly. This was a sin for which I had to atone. Now I can continue at your side with my head held high.
Clive, look. It's just like the one at Phoenix Gate. Damn it. We need to leave. Agreed. Now you keep yours. This way, Your Grace. <coughs> You're bleeding. I have a tonic which will... Uh, I thank you for your kindness, truly. But I assure you, I will survive. Please. Save your medicines for those who need them most. Oh, well, if you're sure. For a moment there, I felt my brother's presence. You did? I fear he is in Ultima's thoughts again. Why now, after five years of silence? I cannot keep him sealed away much longer. Your Grace. No, do not dirty your hands. Look at them all. Like a river flowing to the sea. Or moths to a flame, perhaps. The crystalline dominion, their light in the darkness. More and more lose their homes to the blight and set out in search of sanctuary. While others lose their fortunes to the Dalmechian levies and leave to find new livelihoods. What is it that you seek? In the Dominion, Your Grace. Oh, Dion Lesage. You mean the Crown Prince of San Breck? He has many titles. Dion the Bold, Prince of Dragoons, Odin's Nemesis, or simply Bahamut. I met him once when we were children. He was a chivalrous soul even then and has served his empire indefatigably ever since. And you are confident that he will listen to what you have to say? Our world lurches ever closer to the abyss, and a hidden hand ushers us onward. Ultima's influence extends to every nation, Sandbreck included. If His Highness is the man I believe him to be, and I pray that he is. This truth will not have escaped his notice. As the mother crystals fall, the eternal flame wavers and the azure sky begins to bruise. How lucky we were to be blessed by the crystals. 
and yet how spoiled. Like canaries in a gilded cage, growing fat on seed. But now, the bars are closing in, and we must take flight. Painful though it be to leave our home behind, it is what we must do to be free. Which is it that men cannot live without? A blessing that leads to damnation, or a freedom that leads to deprivation? I do not yet know the answer to that question. Do you, Clive? <coughs> Your Grace, let us find a place to rest a while. We can return by the Dalmechian Trail once you have recovered your strength. I realize your duty is pressing, but if your health should fail... I know. Thank you, Yota. Armies attempt to breach the Empire's defenses and gain the Isles of Ark has failed yet again. Only because your fleet has proved as impotent as a eunuch on laying night. Would you rather we simply fell back to the capital? Enough, both of you. All here agree that the Empire cannot be allowed to maintain its illegitimate claim on the Dominion. However, our casualties mount with each passing day. There is a literal sea twixt you and your prize. The armies of Sambrek need but sit back and watch as you harmlessly lap against their walls. They are dug in like ticks and seek to draw out this siege, knowing the capital's stores are nigh bottomless. And what of our wise rulers? Goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might reap. Republican soldiers starve while waiting for orders from Randalar. If you would but take the field, their bellies would be full by nightfall. If I take the field, so too will Bahamut and our duel will shake the island to its foundations. Instead of liberating the Dominion, you would doom it to destruction. Unless that is what you desire. If our learned advisor has a solution to propose, we should be glad to consider it. means is that I am disinclined to advise you any longer. Ah, the looks on their faces when you walked through those doors. A perfect picture of stupefaction. They could not believe their eyes. Though I confess, I had my own doubts whether or not you would accept my invitation. <sighs> 
such shocking news. Sid isn't a son of a whore. He's the son of an empress. Your own dear Clive. Absurd. Who fed you these lies? I have never spent a moment among criminals, save at the gallows. I came here with my son, not to entertain your baseless accusations, but to put an end to the senseless hostilities between our nations. Very well. You need only agree to the terms I set out. Sid took the life of someone dear to me. A woman by the name of Benedicta. I swore to take his in turn. This would not be disagreeable to you, I take it. You would finally be rid of the stain on your noble name. In return, I will leave Sandbreck in your capable hands. Your Imperial Majesty. And all for the love of a common whore. <laughs> Dominant or no, one cannot hide one's breeding. And beasts will ever belong with beasts. <laughs> there are greater things in store for you, my darling Olivier. Soon enough, you shall be the crown prince of Sambrec. And when your father goes to meet great Grieger, you shall be emperor of all you survey. The old order shall come tumbling down, and you will rebuild the world in your glorious image. <laughs> Soon. She's been in there for hours. Something must be wrong. All right, after the storm, here we go. That was a lot of cutscenes. I was kind of just kicking back watching. It. I forgot I was recording. <laughs> we'll keep it going. Is it true what I'm hearing, Sid? All right, see what we got. Well, don't just stand there gawping. There it is, Platinum Sword. What in the world? All right, here's the thing. It's five higher each. Here's what I kind of wish was in this game was... Oh, wow, that's even better. But, it, okay, hold on. It's not really because it doesn't have the secondary stat. I would lose out on... Yeah, it gives me five more defense, but I lose out on the other. HP is also important. Okay. We got this one as well, which it's lower. You can buy these other ones, but I don't think I will right now. What does this do? Oh, yeah, that's right. Let me see what I can craft really quick, because... Usually if you can buy it, you can also craft it. I'll kill you. What'd you want? Oh, Plat Sword. It, it's actually higher. I don't know what to do here. I feel like the minute I make all this stuff... Hmm. I mean, I might as well make it, right? I have the liquid flame. Yeah, everything gets... That's a pretty substantial. It's 15 higher each. It's like a no-brainer. I guess I don't... I guess the rarity is lower, so I wasn't really sure. All right, now we can also increase it one more time. We got everything here. It looks like this is as high as we can get this. All right, I think we're good.
We've already checked that. Or no, we haven't checked it right now, but we know what that is. Wait, what is... Hold on. This is where you, like, have all the collection stuff? Wall of Memories. Here it is. I don't have many things. <laughs> Prefer to pause it if you need to. I'm not going to read all of this. I'm going to... I mean, I'm going to be editing this video probably... Once I get done within, like, 20 minutes, I can read all this again. I really like the music when you're here. One of my all-time favorite, I guess, Final Fantasy soundtrack. Is it technically called a song? I don't know. When it's like an orchestra type thing, is it? I mean, it's music. Like an OST, I, I don't know. Either way, uh, one of my all-time favorites is in Final Fantasy VII when you get to Cosmo Canyon for the first time. That little Red 13 theme or whatever it is is so nice. It, it's kind of wild when I'm editing videos. I listen to music a lot, but every now and then I listen to like, video game soundtracks. Resident Evil 2 on PS1 is a good one. Um... Oh, let me talk to everyone here first. Oh, Clive. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. The Patron's Whisper? Does that mean... someone else is taking care of our friends' donations? Oh, no. That's still me. It's just Karen has a toll. Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalogue every item that arrives in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Uh, might as well. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Okay, so... Yeah, I mean, I have... I have 45, so I could get this right here, but this has so much more stuff. Look at that. Talk of the Tea House. Create contents, 400 ability points. Here you are. Sign me up. You earned this. Uh, I think we're good. Best of luck out there, Sid. Hold on, did I get him? How may I help you? Let today, me just listen one more time. Yeah, those have check marks, so. Come again. I may have more for ya. Alright, Clive. Keeping busy, are you? Me too. <laughs> Seems like every report our allies sends us brings a hundred new headaches for me to deal with. I've been doing my best to keep on top of it all. Sending anything urgent straight to the curse breakers, just like Otto told me. The rest, I add to the list. Whether it's strangers begging our aid or friends acting funny, there is no end of problems that need solving. And anyone with the time and inclination to solve them will earn a nice bit of goodwill for the cause. And maybe more besides. So, uh, how busy did you say you were? Quick look. I haven't done either of these things the entire game, so I just wanted to try it out now. Alright. Um... I think I'm probably good right now. I'm not doing any side stuff currently. Especially with the main story hanging over our head right here. I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. <sighs> Understood. And thank you. <sighs> The curse has spread. Make sure she rests. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. But you shouldn't have to. Not anymore. 
This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. Where are you? In here. What's wrong? Those areas under attack. What? This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang, Hugo Kupka's private guard. There is in hell in Rosalith, trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. I'm going to Rosaleth. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kupka harbors such a grudge against Sid, but as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which, I am not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kuka must die. I have lost enough friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. I'm coming too. After all, we're in this together. All right. I should probably speak to Otto before leaving. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. All right, speak with Otto. Here we go. I always, man, I always come out this way thinking I can leave. <laughs> it's like I, I guess as you see the icon, you're like, all right, there it is. Hey, appreciate all of you joining me on this series so far. I've had a lot of fun covering this, and it's essentially like, I mean, it's a pretty long game, but I don't know. Like, being able to watch it kind of unfold, it's just turned into like this epic thing, which every Final Fantasy kind of is, but this one being so cutscene heavy, it's kind of nice. Be ready to leave for Rosalith at a moment's note. Gov gave you the news then. We're leaving for Rosalith. But not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmax to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them on to Vivian, in the hope she can make sense of them. If you set on going, You'll want to talk to her. Understood. Ah, if it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now, where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Ah, uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge, uh, can't hurt? We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kuka. What's the situation there? <laughs> Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost. 
But to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka, or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmekia's last line of defense, a fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the Fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean Imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present. Deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, but to draw you out. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port Isolde, then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident. But not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas. It will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The north. We cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate, then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way, and so must you. We'd best get a move on then. Oh, will you be going too? I? I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. Lead on. All right. I think we are good right here. I'm going to take a little break. I'm uh tuck my daughter to sleep, you know. I kind of like my routine right now. But anyways, thank you all for watching. If you want more of this game each day, just keep it up. It's a pretty long video, by the way. Can I not just stay here? I guess I have to go over here, right? But I want to go back to the hideaway and at least... Which is like, I'm already here, but I can't... I can't back out of this. It is what it is. You know what? Let's just go here. I'll put the cutscene, then after that, I'll stop. Usually there's like a little intro cutscene whenever you get to a brand new area. the castle gates at once.
Hugo and his men have been busy. They've already breached the castle's outer wall. The Imperials are holding the ground for now, but it's only a matter of time before the keep falls. Those fuckers really went to town on this place. Almost like they want to wipe it off the map. Just a means to an end. All this for one man? They didn't have to go so far. If you keep your wits about you, I reckon you can make it up to the castle without raising the alarm. I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on their way. Be careful. Likewise. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. a nightmare. This was our home. Come on, Clive. We have to keep going. All right, capital punishment. A little stopping point here. No dialogue? We chillin'? Alright, love you all. Catch the next part. Take it easy.